All right, welcome back to Persona 5 Royal. We're gonna go do the Kaneshiro boss fight. There's the end of the palace. Oh, joy. So I said last time when we finished up, I'm very eager to learn exactly how this fight has been remixed. Assuming it has been, which after the Kamashita and Madarame fights, I think that's a safe assumption. Is that Kaneshiro? Obviously. He was waiting for us. Why even make this like a little control part? Where else am I gonna go? What the hell? A safe? This wasn't here the last time we came. He changed the entire room so quickly. <laughs> I guess this palace isn't a bank for nothing. Greetings. Welcome to my private city bank. I'm surprised you made it here alive. It seems you're quite lucky. Lucky? Don't be ridiculous. We're gonna change your heart and make you confess everything you've done. That'll save all those people who are suffering because of your shitty actions. Even the police are struggling to deal with you, so this will make the public believe in us too. Those in power work the ones below them to the bone for money. Such is the hierarchy of the world. Just accept your fate as a source of my wealth. We'll never agree to that. And hierarchy? You have to be out of your mind. All of that was forced on me too, you know. I went through shit until I crawled my way out of the dregs. Now it's my turn to profit on everyone else. Still, don't you think you're getting back at the wrong people? What a pitiful man. It doesn't matter whether you're clean or dirty. Only the clever come out on top! The strong and the smart devour the weak. That is the natural order of things. You damn brats who think you know the world through the shit you read online will make perfect prey. <laughs> he is utterly hopeless. It's always the fools who get tricked. Fools who have to pay for their foolishness. And if those fools don't learn, or they have to suck it up and stay as plain stupid fools. Will you just shut it already? I guess there's not much point saying anything to you, fools. This is where my gracious lecture ends. Now then, I hope you're ready to work as slaves here for the rest of your lives. That's outrageous. <laughs> I'm gonna swarm all over you and squeeze out every last penny! Joker, make sure you have us regroup if you think we're at a disadvantage. That thing's a giant. 
If it attacks us while we're at low stamina, we won't survive. Get him, Joker! This money grubber's getting a one-way ticket to redemption! All right, the fight has already been remixed. I believe the Kaneshiro fight started with a phase I'm where he done. was not inside of Piggytron. And they completely have done away with that, so we start off with Piggytron now. Which makes me wonder if there's something else new inside of here. Who's All right. Next? Kaneshiro obviously has a real feasible thing going on here. Sona. How do we want to handle this? Oh, I could use Maracunda, but that'd be a bit of a waste considering there's only one. Do I have Maracunda on me? I do. All right. Let's do that. That's not a whole lot. Right, decrease attack. Missile party. Uh, two burns is really unlucky. Let's go. There. Time to use Fonta Ray. I'll use my persona. Persona. Out of our way. One thirty five. Persona. The same. He's not the only one. Heal it, Simona. You punks are really pissing me off. You called my piggy trot a pig earlier, right? Were you talking about me too when you said that? If you were, I'm gonna tear you all to shreds! Go, piggy trot! Super VIP for! Transformed? Don't tell me it's going to roll into us! It's spinning faster! A big one's coming! Oh, that's not what I meant to do. So it used to be that you could, I think, go... No, was it multiple targets here or was it later in the phase? Alright. Heal again, Mona. Thank you. Oh, that's a big help. Let's wait out this turn and see what happens. Yeah. Pretty heavy. That wasn't so bad, though. All right, finally recovered. How's this? Persona! Persona! Ah! Heal again, Mona. I appreciate it. We're gonna blow through Joker's SP. Us again? What do we do? Should we try distracting Kaneshiro? Mm. Another way out? As you know, Kaneshiro is a money monger. Tossing an expensive item his way might draw his attention and serve as a distraction. Let's give it a try, Joker. It's your call what item we throw. Okay, let's lure him with some kind of item. I'm gonna say no because we really don't need it. Careful. A big one's coming. Everyone just guard. Uh, 
All right. I'll use my persona. Persona. Ramona, heal again. This we're a little too strong. The fight is very straightforward. Here we are again. No. Careful. A big one's coming. And this will probably end it. Nope, oh, a little bit more. What? My Pegatron! That's it. I'll just deal with you, Busters, myself through the power of cash. This is different. Off. And now they're gonna clean you up. You like that? They're super duper powerful and super duper fly. <laughs> A totally invincible wall. Oh, how is this dealing with us yourself? Hey guys, their numbers may be growing, but we can't let that get to us. Let's do this. Lullaby. Uh, yeah. Ah, got queen. Wow! Ah, so you're gonna guard for him, huh? That's what you guys do. What? They blocked that? Come on! I told you they're an invincible wall, right? Welcome to the power of cash! Booyah! Mm, that shield move is a real hassle. We can try to take down those minions, but Kanashiro's not lying when he says they're tough. In that case, why don't we just put them to sleep? If they're not awake, they can't get in our way. We'll leave the tactics to you, Joker, but I don't think it's a bad plan myself. That's good advice, Mona. So does it even... Do they even guard on things like uh, multi skills? Yeah, they do. All right. Well, luckily I have lullaby. I appreciate it. They use it on me. And once again, it got queen. Persona. No. We should check it. Persona. Okay, that didn't do a whole lot. Prepare yourself. Persona. Go. Time for my persona. Take this. <laughs> it's almost scary how good I am. Get up. Yeah. Let's All go. Right. Baton pass made you stronger. All right, what do we want to use with this? Maybe a salt dive. Let's use it with Neko Shogun, though. Neko Shogun. Go down. Why won't you just go down, yo? Bye. For my last trump card, I'm gonna make 
make it rain and party down. You dig? Take this. Make it rain. Holy shit, that did do a lot of damage. Uh oh. Oh! I ran out of cash! Due to lack of funds! <laughs> hey! Where'd everyone go? I'm just a little short on funds at the moment! Come on, come back, yo! These minions are nowhere to be seen. I guess relationships built on money don't mean anything once the wealth dries up. Shit! I screwed up! You're out of options here. Why won't you accept your fate already? Queen, you're in danger! Someone take care of her! Oh, you block bullets. <laughs> Persona! Out of our way! We're probably gonna win on this, yeah, on one attack. I, I can't! And if I don't have money, then I... Oh, I know! There's still money inside Pigatron! Gotta get back in there. Are you for real? Oh, cash. Cash really does call Wait, what's wrong with It blew up. We got 20,000 yen from that fight. I guess that's because. Why did they animate him going back inside? Because I believe that's how the original fight ended in vanilla. That was a bit different. And what I'm thinking about now is that because they added this new phase with the bodyguards and whatnot, they had to record new dialogue for Kaneshiro. And the reason that's interesting, because I haven't checked the Japanese, but uh, sadly, Kaneshiro's Seiyu passed away between vanilla and Persona 5 Royal. So I wonder if he got replaced in... Uh, in P5R for Japanese. I, I don't know. I should look into that. A new move? Awesome! We're so overleveled that defeating a boss didn't level up a single one of our party members. Uh, what should we do here? Yeah. That's good. Kaneshiro. I'm not gonna let anyone have it. This is my money. You stole it all from innocent people. Fine. I'll call off the debt. Fine? You're still sounding pretty condescending. You're right. I'm a poor, ugly idiot. How am I supposed to live a normal life like this? It's all because of our society! Weak people can't lead a happy life, no matter what they do! I'm a victim too, you know? Yeah, none of this is my fault! The more you talk, the more pathetic you sound. I just wanted a place where I could belong! You get that, don't you? Bullshit! All you did was surround yourself with people you could use, solely for some easy money! And you think you're the only one who's gotta deal with being labeled? Me? And all these other guys, we're all fighting against that! But don't worry. You'll finally have a place you belong. Somewhere you can make amends. For the rest of your life. We're gonna do something about that distorted heart of yours. Free of charge. I'm glad you understand. Now hurry up and return to the real Kaneshiro. Seriously? You guys don't have any tact. Especially with that incredible power. These palaces could net you loads of cash. You could do whatever you wanted to people's hearts. We're not like you. <laughs> Where do you find meaning in that naive sense of justice? You know, there's already someone out there taking full advantage of what palaces have to offer. What? I'll let you in on a little something. There's a criminal using other people's palaces to accomplish whatever they damn well please. They don't care about consequences, psychotic breakdowns, mental shutdowns, anything goes. Is that the same person Madarame's shadow spoke of? 
Spill it! Who are you talking about? <laughs> Don't even bother. You are nothing compared to them. Better be careful. A chance encounter with them could prove fatal. We can think about that later. Grab the treasure. There's no time. In that case, we should take that large one. Wait, what? The treasure. What's gotten into him? This is so cool! Wowee! Being a human is great! It's, it's, it's shiny, shiny gold! You shouldn't throw animals, damn it! Enough already! Let's get it in, everyone! Hurry! Okay, all set! Fine! Wait, there's no road! are so careless. Meow. Ow. Oh, I think I cracked my ass. On, um, are you all right? Is yours cracked as well? Of course not! Isn't it supposed to be, though? <laughs> That's not what I mean! More importantly, it's dangerous for us to just charge out like that! <laughs> Everyone's staring at us! Thank goodness nobody was hurt. Uh, I wouldn't say nobody. That briefcase! It appears to have been the cause of Morgana's demise. That's not what I meant! Isn't that Kaneshiro's? You mean his treasure? Hey, the light's red! Where should we open it? How about at karaoke? We'd have security cameras to worry about there. Oh, I got the perfect place. That's right. I was just in the mood for some coffee, too. And we need to fix Morgana up. So warm. This place is oddly calming. Have you learned anything new? It's sealed by a rotary lock. We'll need the combination to open it. Yeah! A rotary lock, huh? <laughs> I knew it. How did you get that? I simply memorized the combination. I saw him open and close it so many times, after all. Oh, well, that's scary, but amazing, too. Oh, that burns! Hey, hurry up and open it! Oh. Oh. How much is this? I believe one stack is one million yen. Huh? One, two, three... Uh, there's 30 of them in here. 30 million yen. Even after splitting it, we still each get 5 million! Holy shit! It's gonna be deluxe pork soup combo for me from here on out! You have to think bigger than that! Not to bring down the excited mood, but does this money look real to you? What? Children's Bank! For real? I guess this represents how everything he did was an act to make himself seem tough. No! <laughs> well, hey, at least it feels like we totes busted this case, right? What do you mean? Is busting a case good or bad? Both! 
<laughs> to think the reward for the Phantom Thieves is feeling they totes busted the case. <laughs> ah, how funny. Uh, hold on a second. Even though the contents were nothing more than trash, the case itself is quite nice. All right then, let's sell it. <laughs> Glad we got that sorted. By the way, Morgana, have any of your memories returned? No, not at all. Come on, did that hit to your head make you forget even more? It's easy for you to talk. You're not the one who lost your memories. You have amnesia? Something like that. He does remember searching for treasures, though. Hmm. I hope your memories return soon, then. So, what happens next? First, we wait for Kaneshiro to have his change of heart. Ah, oh, it's gonna be big this time. People are gonna make a huge deal out of it, for sure. Hey, you know what Kaneshiro said at the end there? About that criminal using the metaverse? Yes, I was bothered by that as well. No point mulling over it now. Let's wait and see how Kaneshiro's change of heart goes first. We should probably just lay low for a while. I never thought I'd hear those words coming from you. About my request, how long is it going to take? This incident happened at the school you're supposed to be presiding over. <sighs> Excuse me, sir? We need to speak with you at once regarding the fishing organization operating out of Shibuya. Fine. I hope you remember who gave you that position to begin with. Our other operative gave us a list of candidates without delay. How different from a certain someone. Yes, of course. Please continue your investigation. We did all we can, right? All we need to do now is await the results. I wonder what's going to happen when he has the change of heart. Do you think he'll turn himself in? That seems likely. I hope he spills everything to the police. Well, there are still a few lingering worries, but I believe we did well. We did. Right? We were going up against a real criminal after all. Yes, we managed to steal the heart of a notable lawbreaker. I can't wait to see Akechi's face when he hears the news. Honestly, I just hope that the people who see it get some courage from the news. There's still one thing that worries me, though. Do you mean how someone is using the metaverse for evil? It would be seriously unforgivable if someone was really doing that. Eh, we can talk about that later. For now, let's just wait for Kanashiro's change of heart. Very well. Nicely done, everyone. All we need to do now is let the results come rolling in. We did great today, though. Public opinion of us should skyrocket after this. Yay, we did it! Nice. We completed the Kanashiro arc. Well, once his heart changes in 10 days. That load time was a little long. Hello? Hmm? Who are you two? Have you come here before? I don't remember you. The internet was down during the day today. Didn't this happen before? The server went down because it was attacked from somewhere I heard. I hope they get caught soon. They're really causing a lot of trouble for us. I heard there's some kind of scary foreign organization. Our police wouldn't stand a chance. Well, thanks for the coffee. Bye. Right, and I can't go out because I'm too tired. The intermittent internet network disturbances have now been resolved. Internet service providers have announced they, they were caused by illegal outside attacks. The perpetrators did not issue a statement, but they are suspected to be a, an anonymous hacker group. What did you say? Attacking as a group? It must suck to be on the receiving end of that. Kinda like what we do. Alright, so what do we want to do to pass the time? We could study, we could work on our proficiency. Uh, we have not swapped out DVDs yet. Um, do I have the ability to still call Becky over? Hey. Let's call Kawakami. Hmm. Yeah. Quest assistance. Yep. Make sure you close up. Hi. 
Thank you, Becky. Make some coffee for me. I did use up like all of my SP items, by the way, in that grind run. Like I kind of planned to. Because now they're kind of like trivial now that I can do this and I got like a bajillion fuck ton of yen. Oh. What do you want to do? So study your proficiency. Study your proficiency. Uh. Screw it, let's study. Very indecisive, oh, my apologies. Oh, so we get like a little unique thing, does she hang out in the background? Oh, she totally does. Hey, hey. I love that little touch. <laughs> We're doing really good. You know what would have been really sick is if there were like some sort of extra point bonus for having her in the background because like, you know, like what if he gets stuck on something and he asks Kawakami for help? That would have been really smart. Maybe a little like busted mechanically, but it would have been like really in theme, right? That Kaneshiro truly was an evil stain on society. Same with Kamoshida and Matarame too. They hurt and exploited others just to satisfy their desires. Still, there were people around them who noticed their terrible deeds, weren't there? I wonder why they turned a blind eye. Why doesn't anyone help? They're too scared. So it's because they don't have the courage. Humans are so weak. Humans. Hey, do you think I'll really be able to become a human when I touch the treasure? Some memories came back. I tried to force myself to forget, but I really may not be human. Just be confident. Who do you think you're talking to? Now that I think about it, I gotta be human. I am the core of the Phantom Thieves, after all. Magician rank 5, pickpocket, chance to obtain an item when Joker performs a melee attack. Alright. Come on, it's not good for you to stay up this late. Let's go to sleep. You're in my spot though. That's better. Hey Igor, I did it, are you proud of me? to speak with you. Heed his words. You've defeated the repulsive fiend of gluttony this time. <laughs> well done. I am glad to see you have devoted yourself to your rehabilitation. You are not worthy of such kind words, inmate. I suggest you treasure them. Do you recall the whispers about that strange man? The other metaverse user? Even a chicken could remember something that important. Don't sound so cocky about it. This is about the cases of those people who shut down, is it not? Indeed. I speak of another with powers similar to yours. If you are to complete your rehabilitation, you may encounter him eventually. <laughs> Yet another thing for me to look forward to. It would be greatly troubling if you were to not strengthen your abilities. I shall grant you an ability befitting of your newfound growth. Consider it a gift. Full rank 6, High Arcana Burst. Increases the EXP bonus granted by Arcana Burst. Alright. It's time, inmate. Return to your world. That's pretty good. That's a good ability. Always good to get more EXP for fusing. Hello? It's me, Makoto. Were you sleeping? I'm still asleep. I assume it's okay if you're able to make such jokes. There's something I feel I should let you know. 
Kanashiro contacted me. Kanashiro? He said he's calling off our debt. It seems he's disposed of all the photographs as well. And, um, my sister and her team have taken him into custody. What? It appears they did not want him to disappear, if you know what I mean. His group was called a mafia, after all. I wouldn't put silencing him past them. Does this mean we were successful in changing his heart? It's hard to say for sure yet. Really? What about those psychotic breakdowns that Kanashiro mentioned? I'm not sure. But I assume he was talking about the incidents that have been all over the news lately. It really may be related to the other person who has been entering palaces. True. That said, all we can do now is wait until Kanashiro's change of heart becomes clear to us. Thank you. It's so hot. And humid. I wish the rainy season would end soon. By the way, June's almost over. We defeated Kanashiro so we can rest easy for a while, I guess. So, what do you want to do today? Maybe something like a trip to Mementos? Hell no. Hmm. I mean, breaks are important. But we have those requests on the message board, so don't forget to answer them. As far as I know, in vanilla P5 anyway, they never expired, so it's not a big deal. It's just you can't get new ones until you clear out the old ones. I think you may know this already, but I've been ordered by Principal Kabayakawa to look for the culprits. Is he on to us? We seem to be fine for now, but we can't let our guard down. I ask that you try not to stand out for a while. By the way, I usually spend my time in the student council room. If there's ever an emergency, feel free to come find me there. That's a uh, note. That's your hint that a uh, you can start a confidant now. So Yusuke wants to hang out. He's working on his art. Uh, I think On wants to go to the palace. I mean, not the palace, but uh, mementos. But actually, that looks like hangout plans. All right, so they both want to hang out. We look at our phone here. We'll see. Yeah, Yusuke up on neutral. On's not ready to rank up. But Ryuji, on the other hand, he's good to go. Alright, uh, let's head over to Shibuya. I just remembered the DVD. Let's go to Central Street. Alright, let's return that. Let's run a new one. So we were going uh, down in this order. So let's go for Guy McVer. Adventures of a man who is proficient in jury rigging tools out of anything. All right, so proficiency, that makes sense. That's what uh, yeah. Figures that watching MacGyver, excuse me, Guy McVer will get you proficiency. Now look at the bookstore here. Please take your time. Yeah, they got new stuff recently, which uh, we're not ready to read any of yet. Let's see, what are you guys talking about? Uh, Shibuya is different. Mm -hmm. Whatever. Alright, uh, Persona list. Let's check that. Let's see. Faith, Hermit, Magician, Justice, Saint, Jack. Okay. I do not have a Emperor on me. An Emperor. So I should head to the Velvet Room. And we go. I'm back, Igor. Time for some rehab. You wish to perform an execution. Let Use us my results. Research. Let's look at Arcana. Mm, oof. Closest thing to me is Thoth, and that's too high. All right, so I'm at 31. Can I make anything right now? Nothing that I haven't made already, except for Orpheus Piccaro, which is DLC, and I don't want that. 
Oh, you know what? I haven't looked at uh, what I need to do for my next strength rank up. I should do that between these next two videos, between this one and the next. Let's see here. Let me uh, register first. Yes, Justine, you handled registration. Are you sure? Done. Time for some rehab. Let's execute. What path Use do you my want? results. Looks pretty tough. Select the skills you'd like to inherit. We'll do that because that'll help with Zianga. Use Rakunda. Brain shake. It will receive the sword. <laughs> I see. Then we'll just pull out whatever my best emperor persona is out of the compendium. I have uh, missed like a few personas. Would like to read the compendium. So if you go into the compendium, go by level and head down, you basically get a checklist of like every persona in the game. And if there's a spot empty, then you know you missed something. So I've missed 24, a couple 25s. So I'm gonna have to kind of cheese it out later and probably like look at a like a little list of personas in royal and figure out what those are so I can fuse them out. But we want to go by Arcana here. Full Emperor. Here we go. Wow! One of them's an Emperor. I didn't even notice when I scrolled past it, but I am missing one. Is this what you'll withdraw this persona? Then accept this persona. Alright. The inmate... Let's let us begin the search. I just, uh... Ah, uh, look. I can now make something I just uh, didn't have before. Ah, uh, that would cost me my principality, though. That's kind of lame. And my Pisaka. Let's just make Naga now. That's not a big deal. Then I'll pull out Elgor again. The skills you'd like to inherit. Really, I never made a Naga. I thought I Not had terrible. it at one point. Select the skills you'd like to inherit. Let's go with that. Go regenerate two. Counter. Its power will be nothing. My, my. How fortunate. A little compendium filling out here. Compendium work does get a little tedious, though, to be perfectly honest. I'm aware. Finished for All right, let's speed. go get Elgor again. These are the paths you have walked. You'll withdraw and accept this persona. Thank you. The inmate. Let's execute him. What path do you want? And do this all you over. Okay with this? Select the skills you'd like to inherit. Do I have? No, I don't have Bufu skills on me. Doubles counter damage. Do I have counter on me? Nope. All right, we're gonna go with that, which means I should take Giant Slice. It will receive a... <laughs> I see. Nice. Well, that fills out two of my spots. Sledgehammer's pretty good. 
Dodge Psy. Which is strange because I don't have a weakness to Psy. But I'll take it. Uh, Orpheus, not important. And now let's go get Elgor one more time, and then we're done. You'll withdraw this then, except you left done already. What? I want to no go back. Off. All right, that was all very complicated. Let's go hang out with Yusuke. Oh, we're going to a new location. It's Ueno. A district packed with cultural sites like museums, temples, and a zoo. Get cultured in art. Many famous paintings and sculptures can be seen at Ueno's art museums. All right. Let's go, shall we? Indeed. In addition to the exhibition aspect of the show, there is also an evaluation portion. Hmm, I believe my piece truly stands out among the sea of art here. And yet, nobody has come to see it. Perhaps they are so afraid of the truth held within, they dare not take a closer look. What is this supposed to be? There's a dark, almost sinister aura emanating from it. Hmm, the title is Desire. I see no desire here. Ah, I understand now. This area is for students. The artist likely decided to paint this on a whim. Indeed, there is neither elegance nor emotion in this piece. Come, dear. There are much more detailed paintings over there. <sighs> There's no need to worry. I am not bothered in the slightest. I was nothing more than the drivel of unrefined commoners. I needn't pay any mind to them. As long as those who are in the know understand my work, I will be happy. This is... hmm... Wow. Look, a knowledgeable patron has arrived. Hmm? I would like your opinion, sir. What are your thoughts on this piece? I can see quite clearly why it was accepted into the exhibition. The technique is excellent. However, composition as a whole is mediocre at best. What did you say? How dare you! Ah, are you the artist? The title is listed as Desire, but that idea is quite overused, so I may even call it stale. If you want to paint an abstract work with such an old theme, you must inject some individuality into it. What? Take another look. Try to remove yourself from the artist's bias. These brushstrokes are splendid given your age, but does this painting really tell you anything? It is empty, devoid of meaning. I suggest you take a more critical eye to your work in the future if you truly want to progress as an artist. My work is empty. Mm. What a dick. No, it may be difficult to bear at times, but the beholder is entitled to their own opinion. I can't remember what I was why? supposed to say there. But why? I put my heart and soul into this piece, captured the very essence of desire. It was supposed to lay bare the reality of the world. Perhaps... Perhaps he was right. It may be empty after all. These colors, these brushstrokes... They do not convey the true meaning of desire, only my conception of it. I haven't captured desire. Desire has captured me. How could this be? How could I have fooled myself into believing otherwise? It is though I have it is though I have been forsaken by the gods of art. This grave mistake shall be the end for me. Stand up. But I What is going to happen to me now? Without art, what will remain of my being? This isn't like you. Ren. Agreed. You are correct. Surrendering myself to fate after only one failure would be very much unlike me. Still, being criticized by someone with such a keen eye is truly painful. Okay. 
That is all the more reason I must break out of my slump. I must prove my ability to him. That's the spirit. I will start by painting. After that, I will paint beyond which I shall paint even more. That is the only way I will learn to capture the essence of emotion. After all, you can only accomplish so much in using logic to analyze the contents of the heart. I hope you allow me to continue my skill card services as well, Ren. I shall conquer this. He's especially motivated. Emperor, rank 3, follow up. Chance to perform a follow up attack if Joker's attack does not down the enemy. Alright. Let us return home. Now then, let us head home. I wish to start anew. A slump, hmm? Ah, and he called me too. Rin, I apologize for causing a scene earlier. That one gentleman's critique made me fully realize what I've been lacking. Now my path is clear. I will simply keep on drawing. I'm going to have ten pieces finished up by the end of today. That's the spirit. We already told him that, but he liked it again. Huh, if anything, I should be doing more. I'll do anything to escape this slump. With your support, I was able to pick myself up rather quickly today. I hope this doesn't discourage you from joining me again. I will get past this. Sorry for taking up so much of your time. We'll meet again soon. Ah, you're back. Hey, inmate! You haven't forgotten about your special assignment, have you? You better not keep us waiting long. We're waiting in front of our door. I have not forgotten. I was thinking about it a little while ago when we went to the Velvet Room. You know, I've been curious. What's Kose like? Is it filled with guys like Yusuke? I imagine there are a lot of different people there. Now that you mention it, I have one very interesting classmate. She is a female shogi player and seemingly quite the skilled one at that. Are you talking about Hifumi Togo? I remember hearing she's a student at Kose. They say she's the most beautiful shogi player around right now. Dude, that sounds too good to be true. Give me some more info. I do not know much about her. She is not the kind of person to let others close to her. It sounds like she only focuses on her shogi pursuits. After all, it said she is a lone genius. However, I have heard she is commonly seen at the church over in Kondo. For real? We gotta go. You'll probably get struck down by a bolt of lightning if you're going for that ulterior motive. That ain't it. This is for the Phantom Thieves. I mean, Shogi's a kind of battle, right? She's got to know all sorts of insane strategies and stuff. Uh... That is quite the stretch. Churches are supposed to be holy. Don't do this, Ryuji. Ugh, guys are gonna pay for this one day. Ren, you go spy on her for me. Find out if she's really as cute as they say she is. <sighs> Let's ignore that idiot. Anyway, a shogi expert, huh? Striking an enemy with but a moment's inspiration? Skillfully strategizing toward victory? Those might actually be good tactics to know for our work as the Phantom Thieves. I said she's at the church in Kondo, right? We should check it out when you have the time. Kondo. This historical district contains many famous shrines and churches. Reflect on your past. Confess your regrets, and the path forward may become clear. All right. All right, that's your hint that uh, there's another confidant waiting for you. All right, the crossword puzzle's back. Is it the same one that I cannot do? Hell yeah. Give up. What a shame. Up next, we talk about dangers that are approaching our city. Today, we interview a man who was once a con artist. And our talk with him will cover the skillful methods of con men, which are constantly evolving. <sighs> they really put a lot of thought into these scams. I wish they'd put all that effort to better use. Nice. Pretty healthy. Alright, what? Today's a Thursday. Alright, so... 
square. Hifumi, yep. She's there. We also got a Y as well as Sojuro, who doesn't want to rank up yet. Oh, and we got uh, both Oya and the fortune teller. Who we already learned her name. It should say her name. It's uh, Chihaya Mifune. But you know what? I think we're going to go to the Velvet Room and hang out with the twins. Because, you know, why not? Velvet Room. The fact that they called me kind of like gets me like a little anxious. It's like, oh, could, maybe this event's about to expire. I should do it now. What are you going to do today? All right, time to name the location. Justine, you do the honors. No. Listen closely. The place we wish to evaluate for your rehabilitation is... One that... Oh, right. It's a movie theater. I forgot we did this once. What'll you do? You mean the movie theater? Oh. The what? The moving theater? Is this place cursed to wander the land or something? Guide me, inmate. We shall confirm our intel for ourselves. Lead the way. Not bad for an inmate. That was rather enjoyable, inmate. We won't underestimate the human imagination again. You may claim to have enjoyed yourself, but your screams told quite a different story to anyone who could hear. It's no wonder how everyone mistakes us for elementary school students. Shut up! It was only because of that thing jumping out of my face! And you were just as scared, Justine. It certainly was startling. The eyes and nose seemed to stretch out right at me. And it all began the moment I donned those black glasses. What exactly were those that we were? 3D glasses. Oh, so there was some sort of trick to the glasses? But your own glasses are just normal ones, right? Your own attention wasn't wandering while we were caught up in the movie, was it? Why is it that humans even create such large and elaborate fabrications in the first place, though? Isn't the imagining of these things satisfying enough? Even dreaming seems like a superior pastime. Why do humans go so far as to spend their money just to witness fictional events? Mm. To escape reality. So they wish to avert their eyes from the world they live in. What an unsettling answer. Escape, you say? That sounds rather human as well. Don't tell me. You wouldn't happen to be plotting an escape of your own, would you, inmate? No matter how much you might rail against it, you shall remain our inmate. Even the very thought of such a foolish endeavor is pointless for you. Or could that line of thinking be yet another avenue of escaping reality? Huh. What a pathetic fantasy. I'll bet you were thinking of blasting away the cell door, weren't you? Don't even consider such crassness, Caroline. If you were to attempt such a blatant jailbreak, either our master or ourselves would notice immediately. Oh! And how would you do it, Justine? <laughs> I would use a spoon to dig a hole through the wall and conceal it with a poster as some distractive image. Blowing open the cell door seems more impactful. They used that plan in one of the movies in the movie previews, correct? They wielded a bazooka and went about blowing everything up. Any recaptured escapee is executed on the spot. Freedom or death are the only options for an inmate on the lam. Suspense and excitement are necessary elements for any escape. Did you learn nothing from the movie, Caroline? Or were you simply enjoying yourself? What? Shut up! The inmate will settle this for us. Hey, tell us how you try to escape. Would you blast the door or use a spoon? Uh... The spoon plot sounded good. Sounds good. Did you hear that, Caroline? Even the inmate knows that a crude plan like yours has no hope of succeeding. Hmm. Whatever. It's not like he can actually escape either way. There's no harm in allowing yourself to fantasize a little bit every now and then. Indeed, today we learned more about the power of human imagination. No wonder such a vile such vile palaces plague humanity. You're hereby free to fantasize, but keep it in check, inmate. Your job is to focus on your rehabilitation. That being said, here is your reward. 
Frey. That's not a great seal card. Sigh. Now, let us return. I believe that will be all for today. It is time to return. I escorted the twins back to the Velvet Room. Alright, that does it for this one. It's July. Hey, hey! And we got a chance to read something on the train. When we pick up next time, we do some train reading. And then we'll start working on the month of July. We still got like, what, a week until the Kanashiro stuff comes to its fallout? See you guys in the next one.